In Matthew chapter 20 and verses 17 to 19, here is the testimony of Isa al-Masih. Now, as Isa was going up to Jerusalem, he took the 12 disciples aside and said to them, we are going to Jerusalem. He wanted them to be clear about the purpose of going to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man, speaking about himself, Isa al-Masih, the Son of Man, will be betrayed to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will turn him over to the Gentiles, meaning the non-Jews. For indeed, at that time, all of Palestine was ruled by the Gentiles, the non-Jews, the Romans, to be mocked and flogged and crucified, which was the Roman way of executing those whom they considered to be criminals. That was the death penalty, crucifixion. But Jesus added, and this is the beautiful thing about the uniqueness of Isa al-Masih, is that he defeats death. On the third day, he will be raised to life. This is the testimony that we have from him. Again, in another place, in uh, John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18, listen to the testimony of Isa al-Masih. He says this, I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one, no one, subhanAllah, bishkar Allah, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my father. Do you see, my friend, that there is purpose in this? It was not simply an accident of history, but rather this is history going somewhere to accomplish the redemption, the reconciliation. That is, he gave his very soul as a sacrifice. Please, my friend, keep in mind that the disciples of Isa al-Masih did not want his crucifixion. The last thing that they wanted to do is to invent something and put it in the Gospels, something about the crucifixion of Isa al-Masih, because the record is very clear that time and again, they did not like that. In fact, one of them, Butros, Peter, when Jesus said something about this and talked about his example being like that of Yunus and that the son of man would give his life as a ransom, that this is what will happen to him, how he will suffer, but how he will be raised from the dead. Butros did not accept that. He says, never, that cannot be. And later on, we are told that they could not get away from the fact of the crucifixion, especially after Christ was raised from the dead, and they understood, their eyes were open to understand what was in the scriptures.